remain in custody till Monday next week when the court will make a ruling on his bail application. Obado, alongside others, were arraigned at the Milimani Law Courts to answer to charges of embezzlement of more than 73 million shillings. Nano Lorraine has the details. Migori Governor Okoth Obado was arraigned at the Milimani Law Courts to answer to charges of embezzlement of 74.3 million shillings in Migori County. And after a day long in court, Obado was sent to the cells awaiting a bail ruling on Monday. The earliest time that the court may be able to give its decision shall be on Monday, at the 1st of August at 11 a.m. The application to have the accused persons released before the court decides the application is presumptive and is rejected. It is ordered that they remain in custody in the meantime. The accused, however, denied all 28 counts charged against them. DPP is accusing the county boss of receiving a total sum of more than 73 million shillings indirectly through his children from companies trading with the Migori County government between the financial year 2013 and 2014. In the contract between the Migori County government and the soft limited person with interest, a sum of 10 shillings, 1 million. 806,700 was received by Dan Atola Okot, your son. So, I'm not sure. Not sure. Obado's lawyer Kyoko Kilukumi alluded that considering his age, Obado's concern is that the court will assure him of his safety and not expose him into contracting COVID-19. A 58-year-old is extremely susceptible. It is in his firstly personal interest that everything is done so that he is not unnecessarily exposed to the possibility of contracting a disease. His lawyers had made a bail application which was denied. Nano Cloren, TV 47.